Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought, where we are looking at Olivia. Hmm, lovely little ship, wouldn't you say? Scrapped in 37. Ah, good timing, sir, good timing. Okay, here we are. All right, yeah, for a single convoy ship, I wasn't very interested in this. Even though these are surprise class cruisers, we haven't really seen them in action yet, have we? Um, speed, 24 knots, 28, what can you do? 19, okay, yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Why not? Let's just start off with a small battle. Lovely lines on this uh, four stacker. Twenty six knots on the cruiser, please. We're going to slow down to twenty two with you and twenty four. OK. This is a fairly modern hold. Hold your horses. This is something new. I can't. I don't think I fought this design before. Oh, this is a lovely ship. I like you. And at the same time, I really do not. Okay, Argonaut, you're going to CERN. Yeah, that the direction is good. And you're gonna slow down to 20 knots. Light cruiser, turn as well. Let's slow down to 20 knots. Whip, continue on course. In fact, go to attack speed. Well, torpedo attack speed, that is. Smoke screen on the light cruiser, stand by. Mr. Whip, stand by for torpedo attack. Aggressive torpedoes authorized. Torpedoes locked, torpedoes away. Yellis, stand by for torpedo attack. Enemy vessel has torpedoes, so be advised. Enemy took one torpedo hit. They're still in a dodge, so my light cruiser will not be able to fire. Enemy did fire though, so let's turn ALS turn away, please, if you can. Not sure what your launch target was, the heavy cruiser, okay. Some good shits on the uh, hits, pardon me. Some good hits on the Aeolus there. However, have the feeling freeze game before you uh, blow up let's take a look many bulkheads spacious crew quarters they're very slow though but 8.4 inch main belt five aft five main deck yeah decently armored for sure harvey armor harvey why okay well scholar me surprised and 20 inch torpedoes Look at that, well done. Especially my five inchers did a lot of work. More work than I expected. Let's see, 2K on the destroyer. Yeah, well done destroyer, essentially. Of course the 2K damage was, well, no, it's mostly the torpedo hit there. Okay, and with that, this battle comes to an end. I'm gonna hunt down that convoy ship off screen, and I will be back in an iffy. And there we have it 970 Italians dead, a five of mine. Believe it or not, but I believe the transport ship actually scored a hit with a 2.4 inch gun. Rather annoying. Okay. Here we go. 35% chance of succeeding my attack. 
we have a new cruiser design unlocked and modern destroyer small coming up it is really going fast isn't it modernized dreadnoughts are coming up as well Let's focus on the gum tax rather than the whole tax, though. So, new design. For, I believe, that this takes a long time to load. There we go. Um, heavy Cruiser 1. Ah, this is the one we have been using so far, the Armored Cruiser 5. Wow, look at the hull form increase on this hull. Wow. 60 sustained speed, 71 resistance, 65 resistance, 70 floatability, 50 floatability. Stability more or less equal, but hull form, wow. That is a big increase. So we're going to design two of them. A big variant and a small one. You know the drill by now. And I want to be able to do 30 knots with these cruisers. Oh, we're gonna have to go with this tower. Okay. <clears throat> funnel. We can get one funnel in between. Pardon. The voice, by the way. Let's go with gear turbines. Yeah, one funnel is more than enough. Let's go with auxiliary two, shaft two, electric steering, anti flood three, anti turb two, double hull. I would like turtle backs on this sh on these ships. Hydro three, RDF death charges always. What's the maximum armor we can get? 8 inch. Let's go with 6. Okay, something like that. <clears throat> oh, crop 1. No, saw. Crop 4. Does it matter much in terms of weight, by the way? 800 tons. Not that much. But 800 tons is enough to get a gun in, right? So, center line guns. The 11-inch is tempting, but the 9-incher is Mark IV. So is the 10-incher. I'm actually more tempted to go 9. Let's see, 20 kilometers. Let's see... Hmm. Tempted to go tannin shirts. Do they fit? That is the question. Yeah, I can fit two tannin shirts there. And I guess I could go with a dual tan inch setup on this side as well, but not quite sure this gun will fire. The nine inch shirt, well it can fire forward, but that's about all she can do. 8 inches, of course, can fire, but 8 inches are Mark 3s rather than the Mark 4s. Hmm. Do we have other secondary towers? None that get me really interested. At least these guys. Yeah. This would be great. And have a uh, secondary gun there, but. I suppose not, I suppose not. Um, what do we have here? Three, mark four, four inch. We could add a couple of four inches to the ship, I suppose. Yeah. And these four inches tell me 7,000. Let's get the autoloader in. And do the barrel length 12 kilometers 
I worry they're too small, really, for what I want. I mean, I'd rather go go triple six inches then. Again, increase barrel length. Make them 6.5s. I think I prefer that. And then, of course, we got the 10 inch guns to deal with the enemy battleships. Then again, we have the Germans, right? Germans have a lot of heavy cruisers, light cruisers, and destroyers. And these ships will face the Germans. Maybe I should go for 9 inch after all. Yeah. We can go for triple nine inches. I mean, we could do this. Hmm, that is looking lovely, isn't it? I do like the look of this ship. All right, let's take a look. 9,800 meters detectability, that's not bad. Flash fire chance, yeah, that is pretty bad. Hold your horses though. 11%, 5%, standard ratio shells please, 1.5%, okay, you're not going to blow up anytime soon, standard crew quarters, Any way I can move these towers further backwards? I don't don't think so. No. Just some tiny whiny spots, but not much else. Still that might actually be well not quite enough, but it does help. Right? Fit you there. Some guns have a poor sector of fire. What guns? What guns has a, have a poor sector of fire now? Is it you? That's the only one that makes sense. But it's not, so don't be ridiculous. They got excellent fields of fire. 200 tons to play around with. Let's see. Off belt 4 inch. Off deck three, then we're overweight. Okay. Uh, main gun center line, the six and a half. Let's replace the triples with duels. Just to save some weight. To balance you out. Look at that. Secondary guns, two insures. Can we get some tiny whiny guns in here? I'm sure we can, right? Ooh, nice. Oh, that is pretty cool. You can fit them here. Hmm, interesting. But no. Do I want another gun over here? I think I do. Just for the looks, really. Not much else. I mean, they're 1.1 inch guns. I mean, if a destroyer gets close, yeah, they get peppered by these machine guns. Otherwise, nope, they won't. The 9 inch guns. 29 second reload time. Just for shits and giggles, let's see. If I bring the barrels down, minus 20%. 18 seconds reload time, but only 10,000 meters. <sighs> minus 10% brings it up to 12 kilometers. So 
So these are short range guns the way they are now. No, let's let's not, shall we? Let's just keep it at zero. 17 kilometers. Sure, they're designed mostly to fight light ships, lighter ships, but yeah, let's keep it at this. Safe design. The Cochran. 14,000 tonner. The Blake, on the other hand, is only, what, 8,700? Yeah. And the other heavy cruiser that I have, Gibraltar class, well, is 15,000 tons. It's actually bigger than this one. Interesting. Okay. Next. We got the big Cochrane. And the War Spite. I, I can't, in good conscience, name a heavy cruiser War Spite. Australia, sure. Tiny, little bugger. 8,900 tons. Ooh, these can be the perfect replacements for the Blakes. Then again, the Cochrans have the 9 inch guns that the Blakes have as well. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Now, the big main tower will not fit. The smallest one does. A small main tower. This one actually does fit here, interestingly enough. Funnel. Okay. 33 knots. Is that achievable for this ship? Not with a single funnel, unless... If I go with induced, it does work. What debuffs do I get? Uh, some engine vibrations, that is the main issue, really. And maintenance costs, they're a bit more expensive, but... We get the good engine efficiency, and I do enjoy that. Main gun. Guns. I could go with a... You know... 11 inch. Heavy cruiser? I mean, hello, pocket battleship. Nice to meet you. We can kill anything that is small. Yeah, 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 don't worry about that. I mean, damn, this is tempting. Let's see if we can make this work, shall we? Crop 4 armor. This thing will have no armor whatsoever. Max AP shells. Burbat 3, is that enough? Flash fire chance 4%. Oh, we're overweight now. Damn! Oh, that's a shame. We can bring the range down we could get the bulkheads down on this ship i mean we hardly have any ship that with lower bulkheads so why not let's see what we can make of her i don't really need these modules but i do like the auxiliary engines yeah 13 percent rudder yeah i can live with steam to be honest <clears throat> Just gonna see what I want. Then we'll see what we can get. That's 2,000 tons, ladies and gentlemen. That is way too much. If we drop two guns, bring the barrels down to two, it's a thousand ton overweight still. Okay, if we go with dual barrels rather than triples, I can get away with this. That is pretty damn cool. Can we get a 3 incher up there? No, we cannot. I guess the two, even the 2 incher do not fit here. 
Now they do. Yeah, I could get a two incher on top of the turret, but why bother with that? Yeah, I think I'll just leave it as 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 she is. A couple of tons to play around with the hole though, with the armor. Two inch. Two. One, three. Three inch main deck. Four inch main belt. Let's get a five inch main belt, maybe? Nope. Okay, there we have her. A very small ship. No torpedo protection. But she does have a sonar to detect the torpedoes. She will be small. But with her 11 inch guns, I mean. Gibraltar has 10 inch guns. Mac has 14. Audacious has 12 inch guns. I mean, she will, not, she will be able to engage battleships and damage them. Not win. Not win at all. No, sir. But she will be able to damage them. Yeah, let's keep it uh, like this, shall we? Safe design. Hmm. It will be an interesting ship to fight with. She has some flaws, and honestly, I... I kind of like that. The perfect ship? Nah. It's way more fun to fight with flawed ships. You gotta use your brains then. Not that I have those, but you never know. In terms of finances, things are looking bad, though. We are building, upgrading a lot of ships right now. Let us see, heavy cruisers. We got the London class. Yeah, that needs to go. Gibraltar, I oh, have a few, they are being constructed still. That's fine. Blake class, I'm gonna, I, mean, I think, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of the Blakes as soon as possible uh, from here on out. However, that will be for next turn. Okay. Germans and Soviets. Another Italian admiral replaced. My god, how many Italian admirals are we going through? Did someone count? <laughs> it's pretty insane. So are our ground losses, by the way. They are pretty insane as well. Oh, San Antonio. 12.1 inch guns. Against the 12 and 11.8. Ooh, that means that is a old one, the Eagle. Ah, oh, that'll be fun. Detach all ships. Well, all. Because Eagle can only do tiny whiny 22 knots. Prince of Wales can do 27. Let's go. Time time speed. Ah, she is a beauty, isn't she? Now let's see our enemy is a battle cruiser with only three three 12.1 inch guns okay yeah that's not too bad 24 knots 16 Ooh. let's go down to 20. prince of wales eagle is also engaging now 
come about. Prepare long range broadsides on you. And let's go down to 18 knots, please. Many bullcats on these ships. Prince of Wales fired. For the love of God, full broadsides. Blocked. And he's firing at the other battleship right now. Thank you. Not a lot of damage though. Mostly got blocked again. Destroy the main gun, oh thank god. That is half of your, well, a third of your firepower gone. And a good hit there, good flooding hit. That's what we want to see. Prince of Wales will be out of action for months, if not longer. Wales! Fire. Eagle, I told you to turn. Come on. Ah, bloody hell. Good hit, good hit, good hit. I'd love to see a fl another flooding hit on the enemy vessel, though. Prince of Wales is half dead, after all. Slow down to 18 knots. Forget about the rear turrets. Prepare to ram. I have flank. I would have sworn I told the other ship to turn, but sadly enough that was not the case. Fire! She's done for. Aboard to ram. Aboard to ram. Oh, thank God. Okay, Prince of Wales. I need to look at the ship design immediately. Twelve point one inch guns. Good range finder. Light shells. Meaning fast reload time, I suppose. Eighty-one seconds. My 12 inches. Hmm. 42 seconds. Well, I got Mark III guns. These are Mark IIs, aren't they? No, they're Mark III as well. Barrel length? Maybe. Yeah, barrel length. Well, the eagle is still intact, but... Ooh. This was far closer than I would have liked. Yeah, Prince of Wales will be out for ages. Tell me. You got Krupp 3 armor. Yeah, I can go Krupp 4 and then increase bulkheads. But this flooding was just unacceptable, my friends. Unacceptable. Look at how bad we list right now. Ah, horrible indeed. There we go. So, Prince of Wales, what kind of battleship are you? Come on, stop loading. There we go. I bet I lost a lot of crew members there. Oh, look at that! One month and the Queen Mary is done. The first of the Hood-class battlecruisers. 
with 14 inch guns. Prince of Wales is an audacious class battleship. Hmm. The 19... Ah, but they have not been upgraded to the most modern ship, at least not all of them, of course. Um, yeah, I'm gonna view the design anyway, because we need to look at it. That flooding was way too scary for a battleship. You already got Krupp 4 armor on the most modern design. With reinforced bulkheads, double bottom, maximum bulkheads. Yeah, the m m upgraded version already has it. It's just the Prince of Wales wasn't upgraded yet. Well, all I can say to that is, huh, crap. Unlucky. And it shows we really need to upgrade the designs. Get the ships upgraded, get them into action. For that though, I need the war to end. And from the looks of it, that won't be this episode. <laughs> Uh, tell me. Italy, naval invasion. Oh, look at that. Northwestern Italy, Sardinia, Western... Why can I only attack there? And not here. Enemy ship in the West Indian Ocean, sure. Hello, I should have a giant task force in this area, right? Right? Where did that task force go? Are they overlapping somewhere? Could be, could be. E so. I can attack Sardinia as well. In theory, I could move these task forces, but uh, no. So, convoy, what do we have? Destroyer duel? Tell me, you got an owlbear and a dyslectic. No, that's one torpedo boat, one gunboat. Not gonna do that. Pathfinder against a heavy cruiser? Mm, I'm not very interested in that battle either. Yeah, no, not really. Not really. Got a, not feeling those. Not to mention, I'm kind of curious to wonder where the hell my fleet went. Wait. Wait. Oh, no. There they are. They got blocked and they are moving in a different direction. There we go, problem solved. Problem solved. Does annoy me though, does annoy me. Um, one turn for the battle cruiser, right? One month until these two ships are refitted as well. Bilbao one and then Skepa Flow one, that is very good. One month and then some of the destroyers. <clears throat> and the sunflower will go to Ukraine. That will save up some... Uh, Oh, look at that. We are way under uh, shipbuilding capacity already. <laughs> In that case, um, I do need to upgrade more of my ships first, though. But I can stop upgrading the Blakes, because I'm going to get rid of them. Battle cruisers, no. 
Well, the audacious class, it has shown that these ships really need to be upgraded. So let's start upgrading them. One of them. One of them. And hit the unturn. Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Advanced towers. No ships lost this time. 33%. Yeah, look at that. These these ships blocks my uh, my passing. I am still attacking and I still have a 0% chance of success. Army logistics is good. My army is a million men. The Italians 1.2 million. I'm kind of surprised I have less soldiers than the Italians. Um, but okay. It is what it is, I suppose. Screw it, let's launch an invasion of Sardinia as well for next turn. This will probably fail. Then we'll move here and try to take Sardinia instead. In terms of finances, we finished building our dockyard apparently, so let's build a new one. And look at that. We have a lot of ships we can actually upgrade now. Let's get to work. The revenge upgrades. Let's see what other ones should I upgrade. I guess we should look at the Renown. And Queen Elizabeth. Let's get you two upgraded. Finances, the three battleships. That's okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Let's upgrade three more. Finances looking good. Wow. These must be very small. Yeah, 20,000 tons. Renowned 15,000 tons, pardon me. Let's refit them all. Glory class, let's refit two of you. And we're over shipbuilding capacity now. All of a sudden it goes fast. Okay. I guess what we could do... Let's take a look at the refit. One month and then one battleship comes off the line. Yeah, it should be fine. It should be fine. So let's hit the end turn. And I almost forgot to press record again after that end turn. Whoops. Ooh, advanced bursting charge. That is very useful. Ukraine wants another comet. Um, sure. Oh my god, we took Eastern Sicily. <laughs> no, I'm staying away from Palestine. You can shout at me all you want, but I'm not getting involved in Palestine as the United Kingdom. I don't have a lot of rules, but that is one. Ladies and gentlemen, we broke the back of the Italians here, I think. Okay, let's move to the Western Mediterranean, meaning I'm giving up the Central uh, Mediterranean for the time being. And the Italians might or might not send some ships there, but we'll see. The second fleet. Let's park you here, shall we? Oh, and I'm going to say... Monarch. Together with two Minerva class cruisers. And a Talbot class cruiser will go to the West Indian Ocean again. Just to hunt down Italians there. Uh, 
Uh, Germany, 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 Germany. Improve relations. Yes, please. Germany is about to get into a war with the Soviet Union. Tell me, Soviet Union, do you have any ships? 80. Oh, yeah, that will be uh, nasty indeed. Not to mention they got a lot of allies. That is Chile? Venezuela? So what country was besides Venezuela? Cambodia and Guinea. Yeah. We were talking about it earlier today at work and I just couldn't think up the name. I feel stupid now. Okay, 15 battleships are being refitted. Let's quickly take a look at how long that will take. One month and then Colossus, Victorious, Magnificent, Iron Duke and Empress of India, all renowned class battleships, will be upgraded. Excellent. Let's see. Two of them are in Sunderland, one in Cork, Sunderland, another one in Sunderland. Wow. Uh, Singapore and St. John's. Why do I have so many of those in Sunderland? Hmm. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, we got a part of Italy. We are slowly breaking their backs. Next turn, we will start our invasion of Sardinia. Hopefully, in the next episode, we can actually take it from them. Maybe um, get Western Sicily after, take Palermo. And in Africa, my goal is to take Eritrea. Ethiopia, well, I don't care about Ethiopia. Who does? Um, so we can break the Italians once and for all. Their colonial empire will be gone. And their normal empire will be severely weakened. And then, hopefully, I can turn my attention to either the Germans, who are growing very strong on continental Europe, or France, a wounded animal... But we all know wounded animals can be very dangerous still. I thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.